feeling one out, looking for a way out. Somebody show me that door. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Liz the Queen. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I am a nurse, a registered nurse, and I've been a registered nurse for about 10 years now. And um, I am currently in school to become a nurse practitioner in the uh, master's program at uh, Chamberlain University. I want to start with showing you guys how to how I look up um, nursing articles. Um, right now, I'm in a healthcare policy class. Our assignment is about um, speaking with politicians. By the end of the class, I have to have a um, I have to have had uh, had to have interviewed um, an elected official about a topic that I feel is a healthcare policy concern. I'm at the Chamberlain University website. So I'm gonna turn the camera around in a second. So I mean, it, there may be some people watching that go to you know attend Chamberlain University. This is an online program, but they you know based out of Chicago or right outside of Chicago. But I'm gonna turn it around. So I hope you guys can see that. Um, so we go to the library, I'm sure whatever school that anybody is watching is attending, um, has the same capabilities. So I usually go to the databases and I always, always work out of CINAHL. I use CINAHL for everything. I don't trust any other. And they have the nursing scholarly articles. I tried to use this other website, but I mean, not other website, this other database, and it just, it gave me articles from like 2008, 1996. I like got, there was no recent um, articles. And of course, anybody who's watching, if you're in a master's program, bachelor's program, anything like that, and you have to get these scholarly articles, you know that most of them, most teachers require an article within five years. So that is not gonna work for me. So that was me trying something different and it didn't work. So back to Sino. My assignment this week is, is a little weird because it's just like, it's, it's asking, um, the assignment is discuss the best approach for meeting and communicating with your selected electo, elected official for your healthcare concern. What is the rationale for this approach? And, um, the best approach I feel is a um, phone conversation because it's not really all that realistic to be able to meet with somebody. Um, so I prefer to just speak to somebody over the phone. So what type of article do I use for this situation, for this assignment? Um, so I just chose, and I, I already have my article, but I'm gonna try to research again, try to find it again uh, because I got timed out. <laughs> so. Um, I was just gonna find an article that talks about the importance of nursing, um, being nurses being involved in politics, um, lobbying, all that. And I'm gonna put in here elected officials. Oh my God, elected officials in search. So these are the articles that I come across. Um, and I only go to the ones that have the PDF, like right here. Um, because it's just sometimes when you go to the other articles that don't have the PDF, it's really difficult. Sometimes they ask you to pay for the articles and I'm not about to pay for anything. So I always try to find something that has a PDF. So I just go down, I try to look at the date. Sometimes I find an article that I like I just get so excited that the title is related to what I'm <laughs> searching for. And I go inside and I go to copy the APA format and I realize that it's not even within the dates. Oh, here it is. So this is the article that I chose from my this assignment this week because it has to do with nurses and speaking to politicians. So when nurses speak, Washington listens. So, and it happens to have a PDF, yay! So I look at that, and then I look at the fact that it is May 2018. So guess what? We got this. Okay, so it looks like this. This is my article. So it's really about the American Nurses Association. So I found 
I just kind of skimmed through. I really, honestly, I don't know who really sits here and reads all these articles, but you know what? I work, I got a son, I don't be doing all that. So I just kind of skimmed through and just look at like, what what is a quote that I could use from this article? So, you know, I skimmed through, I, I read a little bit. I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't read the whole entire thing. This one's a pretty short one. So, um, I think I found a line here where it says, registered nurses represent the largest segment of health professionals with more than 3.6 nationwide. I didn't choose that part, it's the second part. Nurses not only represent an incredible force by sheer numbers, but policymakers rely upon their expertise as they work to improve our nation's health system. So I just kind of highlight that, copy, oh, wait, copy, and then I usually go to my Word document. This is just the easiest thing for me, and I paste it. So, and this is just for posts, trust me, this is not for papers. When I do papers, I do copy and paste, but then I, I write it over completely. I will copy and paste, and then um, I will either print it or, it, it depends how I'm writing my paper. I, I can copy, you know, make a, um, when I'm writing my paper, I'll, you know, go a couple spaces down and then I'll, you know, I'll type out what it says. I'll just type it over because I don't trust that copy and paste because when you turn in your papers, it just, sometimes it doesn't work right in, in the, the, um, the font, the, Text is just different, like it just doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work. So anyway, so for, for discussion posts, it's not really that important. I just kind of copy and paste it there. So with the APA, um, to find the citation, and I'm not, it's, it's, to me, I find that it's never really 100% perfect, but at least it gets the format set up for you. So sometimes there's some changes that need to be made. I don't know why it's not correct all the time, but so I click on this, the site, and this is why I also like getting articles from here because it's I can always find the APA re um, reference, the, the citation format. So I just go over here to APA and then I just copy, I just um, copy that and then I'll go over to my Word document and then I paste it. So this is, this is what I pasted earlier. So now I have my quote, I have my citation, so like I said, I don't worry about it in in my discussion post because it's not as formal as writing a paper. So, okay, so I usually leave it like that because when you go to the discussion post, they recommend that you type out everything inside of a um, Word document and then you just copy and paste it and put it into the post. So the, the format is not correct anyway. You see how this is not the APA correct APA format for citing um, references. You know you have to, you know these lines. These have to be indented, not the first line, but the lines that precede it. So obviously it's not going to be correct when you do your discussion post. So our teachers are not they are not strict about that. They don't really care about that in the post. So I usually, you know, look around and see if there's anything else I want to copy and paste um, as an in-text citation. And then what I would like to do sometimes, because it's really hard to find the same article twice sometimes, because you have to remember what you put in the search. So I go to the email and I just, you know, put in my email and then send to myself so that I have the article if I need to refer back to it, if I didn't get enough, you know, of the in-text um, information. So that's that, that's how I find my articles. Now when I, okay, so yeah, to tell you about my program. Our program, I've heard other people, you know, tell me about their program and to me, our program is really good because it it's not, it doesn't require as much as some programs that I've seen. Uh, a uh, former co-worker that I had said that their program, I think she had to, every discussion, the discussion post every week had to be like 500 words, I think. And they had to have, ooh, I don't know how many references. It, we have to have one. I think they made it, had to have two or something like that. Or they had to have references in all their posts. But we don't. We just have to have a reference in our initial post. 
And then we have to respond to one peer and we, and we have to respond to the teachers, um, either a question that they pose to us or to someone else or to the class in general. So it's really not that hard. The first one is 300 words. The second one, the, um, the other two posts are only, oh God, I can't remember if it's 150 or 200. I, I wanna say 200 words. So that one is really easy. 200 words and then you don't have to cite anything. So it's not that bad. Um, and they, what they do, and I would recommend Chamberlain. I've only been going to Chamberlain since January. It's now July. Um, so it hasn't really been all that long and I still have about 22 months left. Um, a little over, a little less than two years now. Um, but I, it, it's gonna get difficult from what I hear. I, I know quite a few people who've gone through the program. So from what I hear, it's gonna get more difficult, but right now it's not that bad. It's manageable, I still work full time. Um, I work anywhere from 32 to like 36 hours a week, roughly. Um, so I don't try to do too much. I, I definitely, I'm not trying to um, overwhelm myself because I know how school can be and um, you know this is a master's program so you have to you have to give yourself time to put give the put time into your your work with this program um so yeah so this every other week the first week is usually just just a discussion post and you usually have to do like a um a, what do you call it introduction which is simple and then Every other week is an assignment. Some weeks are heavier assignments. It, it, it all depends. Some assignments are worth 200 points, some worth 250, and then other assignments are worth 100, 150, it, and it depends on how much work goes into each assignment. So some weeks we have a heavy assignment. Obviously it's worth more points. Um, but they give you a break. It's every other week that you have a heavy assignment. So I think that's fair. Um, so far I have really no complaints with the program. I think the teachers grade pretty fairly. Um, I maintain an A average on every class except for one. I had a B plus, but you know I'm, I I do pretty well in in this program. So so far, I can win. <laughs> that is safe that way. So shout out to all the nurses out there, and um, I think that wraps up this video. So check out my last video. I did my first video, me and my son, and I titled it. Um, can't say no for an hour um, challenge with my son. So that was a cute little video. This is my first time trying, you know, this whole thing. So, and um, gotta shout out my boyfriend, Mike Brooks, AKA MB Vlogs. That's his vlogging channel on YouTube. And um, he helps me out with my editing and everything. So he's amazing at that. So if y'all need edits, make sure you hit him up. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye.